Let's kick some ass. All right, let's do it. All right, there's news today. Kawhi Leonard, we know he met with the Clippers Monday night. He met with the Lakers over the past few days. Was Various that Monday members. or Tuesday? Monday night. Monday, okay. He met with the Clippers. Uh, dinner, dinner meeting. Uh, and now today, he flew to Toronto private on the jet. Raptors plane, the Raptors private plane, and is meeting with the Raptors. He's probably, it might be over now, but he met with the Raptors today. And Jalen Rose is report who's plugged in, who knows ESPN, all, all been the players the forever, yep. throughout the league. He says he is hearing that Kawhi Leonard will return to the Raptors. He said he's heard 99% that Kawhi Leonard will return to the Raptors on a two-year deal. Okay? I, I have said I've been hearing for a while, last several days, that he's going to the Lakers. Obviously, a lot of people, other people have put that out there. Uh, now, I do have some news as well about it. I'm told that, obviously, you might say, well, what what does Toronto have to meet with him? You want to see him, obviously, right. but what can they say? That he doesn't already right. know. He knows about the organization, everything. He's been there for a year, so he knows whether he likes anything there or loves anything right. there. So it's not like a sell job, well, and you just well, want a championship. Well, it is, but what I'm told is that Drake, no surprise, the rapper, will be involved, or what, in this meeting today, Drake was heavily involved. So was he, did Drake, he give him a massage or whatever during the meeting? <laughs> I'm just asking. What? I'm waiting for the wah, 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 No, that whatever. was a good one. I, I got no credit for it that. It wasn't that good. Nothing. It wasn't that good. He was, right. he was massaging Put Nick that on Nurse. Get Robbed. Put that, that on Get, get Robbed. Not com? on the eye couple. Right. Nah. <laughs> but anyway, I'm told that Drake will or may, but is willing to, make Kawhi an executive producer on his next album, should he stay with the so, Raptors? So that makes that's a deal. Is that makes the deal? Is that's that, what I'm. Look, is that LeBron what we are now? was just the executive producer of Two Chains' last album. So I don't know how big of a draw that'll be. But hey, it's out there. We know Toronto. They're giving him a free housing. He's going to be able to eat for free for five years. You know, he's getting all these fringe benefits. I think they're going to name a, a day after him, Kawhi Leonard Day. Wow. So. Is that They're all over Canada or just thick. Toronto? Right, right. I think it might be the whole country, honestly. So they'll even do it in French over in the French right, side. Right, or Kobe Leonard Day. Or right, whatever, or whatever it is. Forget I said that. Yes. But anyway. that was not um, French. Was, no, I don't that, know what I, that was. And I do have French in me. I, Creole, you know, that's a mixture of black and French. Oh, there you African go. African and French. So, But I don't know any French. Is that why um, your hair is that, that way? Is that it? Yeah, to French? be honest, it yeah, is. Okay. That's the French side I'm coming out. I'm just saying. <laughs> but. Anyway, that is the news. And, Rob, I want to ask you this. Because there are people, I think what Kawhi is doing is fine. I think the holdup is that he really is being smart and meticulous about this huge decision. Let me dot my I's and cross my T's. I believe he's got the Lakers in his sights, but maybe he hears something or heard something in a meeting with the Lakers that he didn't like. Maybe the Clippers blow him away. Maybe the Raptors bring something that blows him away. He's doing his due diligence. I have no problem with it. But I do hear some people saying, oh, he's loving the spotlight. He's not the guy we thought he was. I thought he was all quiet, but he's eating this up. He's doing the whatever two teams he doesn't go to, he's doing them wrong. What do you think, Rob? Does this – change your perception or anything about Kawhi Leonard? It, not what's going on or the process because he has nothing to do with the people standing out in the street in Toronto in Thank front of the you. hotel. He has nothing to do with news uh, chopper, choppers going around and trying to get video. I, they're trying to, they got a news story. Right. It's a big story in Canada and Toronto and they're looking for footage or anything that they can put on the news. That's what we do as a news gathering right, organization. Right. So I get all that. He has nothing to do with it. The only thing that would change for me, what I would think about him as far as his legacy is if he went to the Lakers. It would be to me, I would feel like it's almost totally different from what I thought he was. I didn't think he was an AAU guy who was caught up on, and I, and I could be wrong. He but did I'm just, grow up playing AAU, I understand that, but yeah. I'm just saying that just, the way he went to Toronto, I got a lot of respect for. And we talked about this. You did too. 
how he didn't bellyache. He, okay. You know, he was banished to Canada. Hey, let's get him out of here, but we don't want to keep him in the West. Remember the Lakers were interested in, at, in him at first? Right. Pop said, no way, no how. Am right. I trading him to the Lakers? They tried to trade for right? him. The Lakers, they did. Right. And and they rather sent him to the to the uh, uh, East Coast, right. and, and and they sent out of the country. Out of the country, they, <laughs> they literally, I mean, almost literally, send him to Siberia. Exactly, NBA as, as Siberia, goes, right? right? Right. So, so they do all that. He never complained. He didn't go to Toronto and mope and say, "I don't want to be here." And look at this roster. There are no lottery picks. There are no other star players. Nobody's won a championship. Nobody. Right. Nobody's won an MVP. You know right. what I mean? Like all the stuff that he could have complained about. Right. Didn't do anything. He went up there, played, got his rest what he wanted to, right? And won a championship. Okay. So this just to me, to join LeBron and what I would consider to be the Lakers and more of a, a circus atmosphere with what went on last year is a little surprising and it would tell me that he's somebody different than I thought he was to me without knowing him. Right. But here's the thing. All you said is correct, and like you said, we've talked about it. I I really admire what he did this year. Not that it's anything unusual. Most players, you go play for who you're traded to, who you're drafted by, whatever, some people and who you do right. the right thing. No, well, most, LeBron right. doesn't go right. along with it, and and maybe a few others, but it, it really isn't something that special. But I admired it. I thought it was good, and I thought that helped him win the title. But he did that. I'm not complaining. I don't need more help. I'm not saying go get me this, go get me that. I don't need I have I don't have another star. But now if he does go to the Lakers or say he would demand of the Clippers, get me a second guy and I'll come, whatever. Does that make him different? I mean, not, he did what he had to do under contract. He lived up to his contract, which is great. But now he's free and if he really wanted to say, you know what? I do want more stars. I do want a little more. It, it'll give me more load management. I don't have to carry the load every night. You know, does that make him different? Does that? I mean, I I get if you might not like him being on that team. Yeah, no. But I'm does not, that mean he's a different guy? No. Adding adding other players, no. But to join up, there's just something to me, and I think a lot of NBA fans, not 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 all, most, because the same Laker fans that we have now are the ones who were belly aching for years about the Warriors. They couldn't stand. Oh, that's not fair. Were they? Yes. Yes. Well, I don't know if they were. First of all, the Lakers, the Warriors didn't hurt the Lakers at all. No, Lakers, but, but it was just the idea. They could have had it. only Steph, and the Lakers wouldn't have been able to compete no, with No, but it was just the idea that they went out and got the best player available after I don't, already but, having it. I'm just saying, like, there are people who just – don't want to see a super team. They don't want to see him go. I, I, I can't, I'm not sure people don't want to see a super team. I, 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 I'm telling you, there are a lot of people. And I'm not I mean, saying, yo, you got five text messages. I mean, wait, wait. I'm, I'm, I'm just, like, really, like, I'm going from people I, that I talk to. I think to, most all. of the criticism of the Warriors was Durant centered. Like, how in the world could he go to this team? No, I don't know. But I don't think it was on the Warriors. And no, and, but I'm just saying the whole idea was that they already had a team that won a championship, won 73 games, and they made it unfair. There are people he did. When, I, when I say he no, made no, it no. Unfair. no. How did the Warriors do it? The every Warriors team recruited wants to be, him. But is the that Warriors wrong? recruited him. Is no. That wrong? But every you're team saying, wants to get as much as you can. If Steph Curry would win every year, yeah, I want to go get this Steph guy. If Steph Curry would have said to management, I don't want him here, we don't need him. This is my team. We already won a championship and went to the finals twice and won 73 games, Chris. I guarantee you they would have not gone against Steph. Would you agree with that? Right. Okay. I agree. So so it but is you, you the say, Warriors. You say. I'm saying. No, but your statement is that if they don't go get Kevin Durant, they don't have three championships. So would it have been better to be prideful and say we don't need him and not one, but rather than go get the guy and now you got when two I, more titles? When I say that, I'm talking about as as a player who's, who went there, and once he went there, we saw how good he was. But they had gone to two finals the first two years right? without him, and they had won 73 games and set a record. So so could they have – could they have – Lucked into another one or, or or just played it well enough to win? Yeah, they could have, but I'm saying the two that they got definitely had an effect because of, of uh I, I just KD. can't blame the Warriors for wanting to get even better. Now, if you want to – I didn't blame Clevin Durant. You did and many others did. But 
he was the one. And I think the bulk of the criticism was aimed at Kevin Durant for joining that team. I don't think any executives, I mean, they were jealous of the Warriors, but none were like, how could they do that? He wants must, to get better. I'm not saying that the team, once once it's in motion and you're going to reject him, he wants to come. The players don't have an issue with it. That's I get all that. I'm just saying there there were people thought, Wait a minute! You just you guys just won seventy three games. You just set the record. But they lost in the, the finals. Yeah, but they were up three to one. They choked. Okay, that, that doesn't but mean that they, they couldn't have won again. They I choked. agree. I think they would have won again. They choked the very next year. But I'm just saying, I don't, I just don't think the blame was there. But I think I don't think people have a problem with super teams. We've had super teams throughout NBA history, and a lot of the best runs, the golden eras, have included super teams.